Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Jisun Fisher with us. She goes by Dr. J, and she is a licensed psychologist specializing in life fulfillment. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Tyler. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks for joining us. Um, We'll dive in. The first question I have for you is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? That's an excellent question. This is actually one of the hardest questions for me to think about in terms of coming up with a response. But when I was seven years old, I came over to the United States with my family of four. And I remember my mom was so excited to move here because she was so excited for the educational opportunity she had for her kids now, um, just life quality differences. And she went from being a stay-at-home mom to working 14-hour days day jobs um, because of just what my dad went through. So to keep a long story very brief and short, my dad actually struggled with gambling addiction quite a bit. And we didn't realize until maybe a few years in um, after we moved here. And I remember my mom going from one job to the next to the next because she was um, trying to keep loan sharks at an arm's length. People were coming after her because she was married to someone who struggled with gambling addiction and couldn't stop Um, getting or borrowing money from other people. So I remember watching my mom not just struggle with life, but really suffer Mm -hmm. in that she really didn't have anyone to rely on in a new country, in a foreign country where she didn't even understand the language. And I just remember what she went through because my dad had had a hard time finding life fulfillment. And he was looking for life fulfillment or what we think of as happiness in all of the wrong places. And really recapping and reviewing and reflecting on my life and what my child was like, was like um, I think the biggest message in my life and that I want to share with others is that life fulfillment doesn't happen just by looking for the fleeting things, by accomplishments, but it really comes from finding a balance between who you are and how you can serve the world. Mm, thank you so much for sharing that story. Um, the next question I have for you is what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Awesome. Love this. So I love, it's a very, very short psychology or life hack and you can change your life just by the way you breathe. So when you change the way you breathe, you change the way your physiology looks in your body. So we, we change things in the central nervous system, your autonomic nervous system. So you change your body chemistry just by the way you breathe. And by changing that, you change your state, which is the way you think, the things that you're thinking about, your emotions that you have. And by changing your state, you change the way you show up in the world. So you change your performance. And just by changing the way you breathe, if you can master your breath, you can master your life. Mm. And what is your best piece of overall business advice? I would say that life is very empty when you focus on the things that you want to achieve or you gain. Um, When we do that, we stop focusing on the things that really matter. And it's not about what you gain. It's about the person that you become in the process. And I think that's the best overall advice I've ever received. And that's helped me to take a step back, to be more present with my life and to really savor the moments of becoming a better person. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? It would be that failure is not the ultimate end and that failure is instead when you reframe it to be feedback, your life changes. I am so deathly afraid of failure. I think everyone is. We're just so hardwired to be afraid of failure because back in our ancestral days, failure meant death. But just knowing that failure isn't the end end all be all, it's feedback. You take what you learn from what we consider failure or now what we're recapping to be feedback and you move forward and you grow um, bigger and become a better person. Mm, I love that. Failure is feedback. That's awesome. 
Um, and in your opinion, I'm excited uh, for your answer on this one. In your opinion, what's the key to happiness? The key to happiness. So this is a really big passion of mine because I think we, when we um, live a life in pursuit of happiness, we are totally getting it backwards. So being happy is not a goal. It's actually a byproduct. And what I mean by that is um, when we pursue trying to be happy, we go for things that are very short term and not really looking at the big picture of what our life is supposed to be about. So when we focus on what I call the modern spirituality, and you could think of it as um, if you picture yourself, imagine the infinity symbol on one end of that infinity symbol or the polarity is finding your authenticity, who you are without that mask that we wear. And then on the other end of that polarity is how you give back. What is your service to others? So when we can actually ride that polarity of life, of being authentic and being of service to others, knowing that the two things are connected by the relationships that we form in life, that's actually when we have the ultimate life fulfillment and happiness. Mm. I love that answer. Uh, and what is the best book that you've read? And what was the number one thing you learned from that? Excellent. Um, this was a hard one because I, I love reading books and there are so many great ones. I think the one book that I always go back to is by Tony Robbins called Awaken the Giant Within. And I love his life message that he shares with the world that we are so strong and powerful on the inside more than we know. And I know a lot of people have heard of Tony Robbins um, and have probably read that book. If you haven't, it's a great one. But one that I've read maybe within the last few weeks is called The Purpose Principles by Jake Ducey. And he is, he shares that message of living an empowered life, being or tapping into your creativity and that energy and, and just fulfillment in such a different way. I think maybe if people don't appreciate Tony Robbins's tone or maybe they've already read it and want something else, Jake Ducey wrote an awesome book called The Purpose Principles, How to Draw More Meaning into Your Life. And what is your favorite quote and why? My favorite quote is by Ralph Waldo Emerson. And he said, what lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. And I love that quote because it reminds me that it doesn't matter what my past looked like. It doesn't matter how deathly scared of I am of my future um, or things that I've yet to come. It, none of that matters. It just it pales in comparison to what lies within me and that gift of life that was given to me to share with the world. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on. Uh, the last question I have for you before we let you go is where's the best place for people to find you online? So my website is www.yourlifeinspired.com. It's the letters U R lifeinspired.com and you can read all about my work there. Perfect. Thank you again for joining us. We appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me, Tyler. podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast